Watching the Highlight Zone with Wing 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Local sports coverage you can count on. Yeah, man, we're excited, you know, going out and uh, playing a great team like this. You can't beat it, especially under the Friday night lights. Going into a hostile environment like that, Leo's got an amazing home atmosphere. We think it's a really good opportunity. You don't get that opportunity much in football or in life. It was a great game in, in week five, and it's going to be another great game. I know the town of Kendallville, I think the last person out of town is supposed to turn the lights off tomorrow night. I think our guys understand how lucky and fortunate they are to, to play in games like this. You can't ask for much more. <laughs> It is the day after Halloween, and tonight's no tricks, all treats. Sectional semifinals. It's pretty easy. You win tonight, you play for a title next Friday, and it's one of the biggest and best nights of the year with all classifications finally in action. We got highlights of every single game featuring a team from the 260, and we start with Josh Ayan and your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Josh. Well, Glenn, without a doubt, it is the best rivalry in the NE8, and this season it's going to get a second go-round. Now, back in week number five, East Noble edging Leo 35-29 in an instant classic. Now, this week, the Knights are looking for a repeat. The Lions looking for redemption. East Noble at Leo. It is your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Now, Leo was coming in ranked number 10 in the state in the 4A poll. East Noble ranked number 2. And hey, diddle diddle, how about a night for Mr. Riley Biddle. The junior capping off East Noble's opening drive with that touchdown. And East Noble off to a quick start, 7-0 after one. And that is definitely not Jason Dorfler's happy face. Now in the second quarter, East Noble knocking again, but Brock shot slamming the door shut. The Miami Hurricanes commit with that sack to help stall that drive and certainly making Landon Livingston, a former Leo Lion, pretty happy. Now later on the second, it is some QB on QB crime here. Riley Biddle picking off Grayson Escara. That keeps the game 7-0. East Noble heading into quarter number three. And East Noble chewing up seven minutes on their first drive of the third quarter. They lead 13, rather 14-0 after that Biddle touchdown. At this point, Leo looking for anything to cheer about in the fourth quarter. That's not going to happen right here. It is Biddle hooking up with Mason Trish for a 24-yard touchdown. 21-0 East Noble in front and the Knights turning out the lights on defense. No points for this Leo offense. In fact, East Noble's defense nicknamed the dark side and the force was strong with this unit. Three interceptions, as we mentioned, a shutout and East Noble is moving on to the sectional title game with a 21-0 win. That, that loss last year was in our mind for the past 365 plus days and and we knew what we had to do come Friday night tonight, and we, that's exactly what we did. It was a whole team effort. We've been locking out all week. No, this is a good team. We came to play. Yeah, so last year we came with a sorry loss. You know, we, we, we didn't play good, and uh, it meant a lot to us. We are going to enjoy the win tonight. You know, this is a big win for our program, but tomorrow morning we're right back to work, and we're going to watch film, and we're going to start the process over again. You know, each week you're trying to go 1-0, and it doesn't change next week.